Hey everybody, tour guide Amber here, and today I'm going to tell you 25 fun facts about me. So, fun fact number one, not really a surprise or a shock, but I am a campus tour guide. So I got hired to be a tour guide my freshman year. And I guess the fun fact would be that I cried when I got the email saying that I was hired because I was so excited. And now I'm going into my senior year as a tour guide for Pace University. And I think it is the best job ever and I love it so very much. So if you come to Pace and you're interested in being a tour guide, you should definitely apply. Fun fact number two, I am from Daytona Beach, Florida. Uh, they call it the birthplace of speed. Some people refer to it as the world's most famous beach. I call it Dirtona because it's overrated. Um, so if you come to Florida, I have one piece of advice. Don't ever vacation in Daytona because it's not as cool as everybody says it is. Fun fact number three, I am a Taurus with a Cancer moon and I am a Libra rising. Um, aside from the Taurus part, I have no idea what any of that means, so if you're into astrology, please feel free to tell me. I did make a co-star just so I can get my day at a glance each day, uh, but yes, I have no idea what that means, other than the fact that I am stubborn, which is true, and loyal, which is also true. Fun fact number four is that I have six dogs and three cats. So this is one of my dogs, this is Berkeley, and he sleeps with me every night. He's the only dog that actually likes me. Hey, Berkey! Fun fact number five is I met the Jonas Brothers and I have proof, here it is. Hands down the best day of my life and I'm not even exaggerating. Um, I guess this is an additional fun fact, so I guess two for one, is that my mom's purse actually got stolen during the concert and to compensate, they gave us like VIP tickets. And so I actually got to watch the show in the VIP section with their parents, Frankie, their little brother, and Big Rob. Literally can't make this up, best day of my life. Fun fact number six is I am in Kappa Delta sorority, so we do have Greek life at Pace. Uh, I did make another YouTube video about my Greek life experience, so be sure to watch that as well. Uh, but yes, Kappa Delta sorority. Fun fact number seven, uh, I sang for the Pope uh, back in 2011, I think. Uh, don't ask me to sing now because I sound like a tone deaf walrus, but there was a time when I could sing, not horribly. And yes, it was so cool. I got to go to the Vatican in Italy. Fun fact number eight is I actually used to have my own nonprofit organization. Uh, so it was called Amber.org and it seeks to benefit pediatric patients and victims of natural disasters. So as of 2020, my organization has raised over $70,000 for numerous uh, children with a variety of different uh, medical ailments. And I have also uh, raised a lot of money for different um, natural disasters such as the Haiti earthquake in 2010, uh, Hurricane Sandy victims, and uh, some hurricanes that hit my hometown here in Florida. Fun fact number nine, uh, after I went to the Vatican to sing for the Pope, my mom and I figured that we might as well make the most of the experience and we actually spent three months in Europe. Uh, we backpacked across Europe for three months and we went to 28 countries. So I don't know, Jonas Brothers or it's a kind of a toss up which one was the best experience of my life. but. That trip was definitely up there. Fun fact number 10 is that I'm a biology major on a pre-med track uh, with a minor in psychology. And so at Pace, I'm about to graduate with my BS in biology. Fun fact number 11, my dream job is to become a reconstructive plastic surgeon. And I'd really love to do this through Doctors Without Borders because my two passions really are philanthropy and medicine. So uh, by being able to pursue a career uh, through Doctors Without Borders, that would really allow me to pursue both of my uh, passions uh, simultaneously. Fun fact number 12, I just applied to medical school and I'm currently studying for the MCAT. Big sad face, but it's okay. It's like three weeks away and hopefully I'll never have to think about it again. Fun fact 13, I used to live on Wall Street, uh, definitely my peak. Um, I lived in a room smaller than this one. Well, I should say an apartment because the entire place was smaller than my current room. Uh, but yes, it was still a blast. I was in a luxury building. I had a doorman. I really got to live my uh, Real Housewives of New York vibe uh, for about six months. So definitely a good time. 10 out of 10 recommend. Fun fact number 14, uh, last year in March of 2019, I went to Guatemala for about two and a half weeks and I went, it was a medical mission trip and I worked as an OR scrub tech. So I assisted on like 200 surgeries and the surgeries included um, cleft palate corrections, um, hernia repairs, gallbladder extractions, uh, hysterectomies, cyst removals, you name it. Uh, we did about 200 surgeries overall and saw about 1,000 patients in the clinic. 
And so that was a really great experience because it really just uh, re, um, reassured me that all of the dreams that I have for my future are truly exactly what I want to do with my life. And I can't wait to hopefully go back in the future. Fun fact number 15, I have a brother. This is a picture of him and me. Uh, he's, he's okay, I guess. We used to not get along like at all, but we've grown up and they're not kidding when they say distance makes the heart grow fonder because I actually kind of miss him when I'm at New York. Uh, but yes, he's uh, my brother. We don't look anything alike, but definitely my best friend. Fun fact 16, I actually work currently as a scribe and a like, first assistant uh, with the plastic surgeon back home in Daytona Beach, Florida. Um, it's actually through uh, my friend's dad's the plastic surgeon. So I've been working with him while I'm home dur during summer break and winter break over the last three and a half years. And through this experience, I've actually been able to do a few surgeries by myself. So I removed a skin cancer from my grandpa's nose, start to finish, did the entire thing by myself. It was very cool. And honestly, he looks even better than he did before, if you ask me. Fun fact 17, I used to play golf in high school. Uh, my grandpa got me into golf when I was young uh, and it wasn't something I was really great at and necessarily super passionate about, but I played softball as well. And then I had to get shoulder surgery, long story short, my sophomore year of high school uh, because I had a tumor in my shoulder and I couldn't play softball anymore. And so I went to golf instead because it was less intense on my shoulder. I mean, it was actually good physical therapy for it. And so then I joined the team in high school, became a co-captain and then somehow went to States during the States golf tournament. Uh, I wouldn't say I helped the team advance at all, but it was a cool experience and I like to tell people that I'm good at golf even though I'm not. Fun fact number 18 is I am a resident assistant. We like to call them RAs. So last year I was a resident assistant in 182 Broadway on the honors floor, the sixth floor. Uh, and that's actually where I lived my freshman year. And this coming year, I'm actually going to be a social media coordinator for the Office of Residential Life and Housing. So anything that you see on the social media accounts in regards um, on the Res Life page, yeah girl is helping run that page. So give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Fun fact number 19, I have five jobs in New York and they are tour guide, resident assistant. I work in a research lab on campus. The graduate lab is the Haskins lab in 41 Park Row. I am a babysitter and I am a professional dog walker. Yes, I said professional and it's like that on my resume. Fun fact number 20 is I used to compete in pageants. I was a runner up in this team, Florida. I don't know what this crown was from because I did pageants for like 13 years because I started when I was like two, but I've had several different titles within the state of Florida and this is from one of them. Fun fact number 21, I have three tattoos. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but this is one of them. It's a white ink tattoo. This is one that usually surprises most people or they find the most cool because it's white ink. Can't really see it in a uh, camera, but it's a white ink shamrock because I am part Irish. Um, and the clovers on the shamrock, the four leaves are actually in the form of hearts, uh, which stand for me, my cousin, my aunt, and my mom. One of my tattoos is also a sunflower with DNA stem. Uh, it's on my leg, so it's kind of hard to show you, but um, yes, I am that biology major who got a tattoo of DNA on them and no shame. Fun fact number 22 is that I used to drive my golf cart to middle school. So my middle school is like a little over a mile away from my house and uh, my friend's mom is actually a math teacher at my school and they live right across the street from my school. So my friend Trevor and I used to literally drive the golf cart a mile to school every morning and I would argue that that was my peak for sure. Fun fact number 23 is that I can say my ABCs backwards. Uh, there was a few times where I tried to learn how to do it, but then I gave up when I got to like W because it seemed too hard. And then one day I just tried and somehow, I have no idea how, but somehow I was able to. Uh, so yes, and if I didn't do it for you, then I could be lying. Z-Y-X-W-V-U-T-S-R-Q-P-O-N-M-L-K-J-I-H-G-F-E-D-C-B-A. Fun fact number 24 is that I'm a member of the Forzheimer's Honors College on campus at Pace. Uh, and so within the Honors College, I'm also an honors mentor. So I sort of guide first year students through their freshman year uh, and provide them all the advice and resources that they might be uh, needing or looking for. Uh, and mentors are usually paired with um, an upperclassman student who is a mentor that has either the same major or similar interests as them. That way they can be the most useful to that uh, 
resource to that student. Uh, and so over the years, I've had a total of 13 mentees and this year I have two more and I'm so excited to help them make the most of their first year at Pace, especially during these very strange times. Fun fact number 25, last but not least, as cheesy it may sound, uh, is the best decision that I ever made. And that was to go to Pace University. Uh, I can truly say that the experiences that I've had there have prepared me for my future career and have honestly put me onto the next platform so that I can be successful at whatever I put my mind to. I am confident in the fact that if I went anywhere else, I wouldn't have had all the opportunities and success that I've had because at Pace, everybody is truly there to support you and wants to see you succeed. I applied to 23 schools before I even knew Pace existed. and. One thing that I came to realize is that I really flourish as a big fish in a small pond and that's completely possible at Pace and the community is just so rich with resources and tools and being in New York City just enhances that even more. So thank you so much for sticking around for the 25 fun facts about me tour guide Amber. Uh, I hope to see you and your face at Pace in the future uh, but I hope you have a great day and thanks for listening. Bye!